So I'm going to kill some gophers, or at least one gopher, with a hair dryer. Uh, first off, I'm not an expert on any of this. Um, just watched a lot of YouTube videos. And somebody either made a comment or out on Google search through maybe Reddit or something. Somebody mentioned a hair dryer, maybe as a joke, but either way, the hair dryer does work. Um, there's lots of videos with big leaf blowers, and you've got to turn the settings all the way down. And there's a lot of videos out there with regular, you know, road road type flares. So your local hardware store should have something specific uh, for gophers, which are these small ones, small flares. Um, I've got gloves on because I got bit by a gopher when I was a kid. I stuck my hand in the hole there while he was digging and he got me. Unfortunately, the gloves don't work when I'm trying to light, light fuses. Um, gophers can be pretty aggressive. Um, so anyway, there's my hair dryer. I'm going to stick this flare into the hole. And I used poison for a couple days, which was a mistake. Uh, for poison to work, you got to get, get a really big hole and you've got to have a main travel tunnel for them to see the see the poison with these flares and the smoke. I don't think there's any poison per se in the flare. I think it's just smoke and um, whatever else the basic flare chemicals are and they die that way. <clears throat> I'm not positive on that, but I knew the ro I do know the road flares do work according to a lot of YouTubers. Um, and these are just, appear to be just smaller. They smell like a flare, fire, typical fireworks. Sulfur, I guess, is the main ingredient. Anyway, so now I can see here there's an access hole that was covered up. I actually flattened that access hole out. All these are access holes that I flattened out to see if the gopher would come back. And I really didn't even know if it was a gopher at first because there was no hole. I never saw a hole and I assumed that there would be a hole. So that was my mistake. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a gopher expert. There was a, a big mound of dirt right there that was on the concrete. I swept it over to the side. Again, I didn't know what this thing was. Unfortunately, over the two weeks I waited, it uh, did quite a bit of damage to my yard. Um, the other option is a trap. I looked into traps, but they look kind of hazardous to my hands. I don't want to say dangerous, but definitely they look like they can cause some injury there. And then you have to work. That's another one like poison. You have to have it in a main tunnel. Otherwise, you could be waiting a long time. These smoke flares are great. They go throughout the whole uh, current living area. That's another thing you gotta see that. There was a mound there, and that's a current mound because I flattened everything the day before. Um, and here you gotta open it up a little bit. You just poke straight down around the mound, and then you'll see a soft spot. And then typically the hole will go away from the mound and this hole is very minimal because I'm using a small flare. I'm not using a trap. You don't have to dig a bigger hole for a trap. You don't have to have a main tunnel. I really think these flares are the way to go. Um, I'm using multiple flares. I probably should have just found every act. The other thing is you can, with these flares, you can find all the access holes through, through the smoke coming out. Um, so you can kind of see what you're, what you're looking at here. Um, you'd probably need a smoke flare anyway if you wanted to find the main tunnel if you're going to use a trap. So I would get these. Here's the one I just opened up. i got to cover that up. Too much smoke coming out. And uh, in hindsight, if I had a really big area that I thought they were covering again I would stick one flare in there just to see where all the holes are but I'd probably just stick a flare in each hole at the same time cover them up at the same time and not even use a hair dryer um, and that would be much more concentrated on the smoke but I, I believe this gopher died the first time I used the flare 
I ended up using three flares. Um, came in a package of like eight or ten. It was around, it was under ten dollars. Um, if you get the really big street flares, they're really big. You got to make a bigger hole. Um, you can use your hair dryer. You just hook it up to electrical cord. Um, easy peasy. Um, don't wait. If you see a mound of dirt in your yard, do this with a screwdriver. If you if there's a soft spot, get go to the store, get these flares and stick them in there. And, I, and I'm, I'm not positive this is a mole. I know they're supposed to have different mounds. I guess moles are like perfectly circular. Like that one looked pretty circular to me. Um, or I guess there's something called a vole. Either way, they all die with, with this smoke. You know, if you can't breathe oxygen, you can't. You can't live. The other advantage to these flares is you can just leave them in the ground. Maybe, I don't know what the directions say. You'll have to read the directions, but I'm just leaving them down in there. There's a dead gopher down there. I'm leaving him down there um, with traps. I don't have to worry about kids pulling the trap out or dogs digging the trap up. Um, poison, you, you have to worry about the groundwater. Uh, or I do, you know, chemicals, getting down into the groundwater. You have to worry about chemicals in your house. I don't know. Um, just throwing chemicals down a toilet or in your trash for a landfill is not, I don't think that's good either. Um, if these fires are mostly sulfurs, as far as the active ingredient, they, it's probably a, more, a little more nature friendly. I don't know for sure. But here's all the, there's a the smoke coming out there. So that's when I did flatten and the gophers, they cover up their holes. I didn't know this, but if you see a gopher hole, it's probably a dead, dead hole. There's nothing in there. So here's the rest of my yard. It's just a small piece of grass on one side of my driveway. I don't know where this gopher came from. My neighbor on the one side has concrete between his driveway. Uh, the, neighbor across the street has fake grass I, I'm not kind of on a hill so maybe he was in the embankment on the hill and the other neighbor behind me and then decided to make a run for it across my backyard and all the way in the front here and I waited too long there was these whole not holes but mounds of dirt everywhere um, so if you see a mound of dirt in your yard you need to act fast anyway thank you for watching